Hi everyone, welcome to Embellishments on the 11th. <clears throat> Excuse me, where every month we, um, this is a collab run by me. And every month at noon on the 11th, we post um, some kind of embellishments. It can be anything. So this month, I was in the mood for doing poinsettias again. Brandy, <laughs> watching you the other day with yours, I had to do mine again. Um, these are the poinsettia petals dies. Uh, they're called actually just poinsettia dies. I did use this one and cut some out of the designer paper. Oops, sorry. I did use this one to cut some out of some um, plush paper. It's vellum with white plush. I used the leaves to cut out both the vellum as well as um, old olive and garden green leaves. And I used these three, and I used them with red velvet for two sets, um, as well as these. And I used these also for uh, real red, ooh, sorry, cardstock. And I also used them for very vanilla cardstock. And then I did die cut a few of these in Bumblebee, the centers, and some of these in very vanilla velvet and real red also. So with that, let me show you what I did. I didn't make cards, excuse me, yet. Oh, I also did use a few of these beaded pearls, they're called, but they're like the poinsettia centers on some. But for some of these smaller ones, like these two here, I used these um, wonderful gems, they're called. They're in the mini catalog. I don't remember if I wrote what page. Yes. Um, Adhesive back faceted gems with gold glitter, glitter flex, four and five millimeter, real red and clear, but they have gold, the gold flex in them. I only use the clear, as you can see here, because I thought they fit better and made cute little centers. So let me show you the rest of what I did. I just wanted to do a variety. So these were the first two I did, and I cut these out of the paper called Poinsettia Place. Um, the paper is this, and you can see where I cut them out. Only certain ones cut out, and I think I might have gotten the only two on that piece of paper. But there's more on the other side of the paper. So you can probably get at least four or five out of one 12 by 12 using, and that uses um, this die here. And then um, I did the leaves, and actually what I did then is I used one of these and put it in the center. It does have, um, if I show you on the paper, it does have little yellow um, stamen, but instead of putting something like this in, I decided to just put one of the smaller very vanilla poinsettias on. And these have old olive leaves on them so that's those two then i did these two in real red with garden green leaves and i got real red or something on it now what i did with this though is i took cherry cobbler and i just went around the edges and a little bit on the leaves to give a two-tone look now this one i sort of curled curled a little bit this one i haven't done that yet but i probably will right before i put it on a project so you can curl them up a little bit. And how I how I did this one, you can use a pen or a pencil or something or a stylus. I just kind of took my finger and and went like this and, and sort of pushed in the middle and then bent downward. And that works too, just to give it a little bit of dimension. But I didn't really want a whole lot of dimension because, um, you know, if I put it on cards, which is probably what I'll do, um, I don't want it to be too bulky because of the mailing costs, right? And then maybe the leaves will come up the other way. So there, it has a little little more dimension there. Just by sort of bending in the middle. You can do it different ways, but that works for me. Then these I cut out of, well, I'll start with this one, the Red Velvet Paper by Stampin' Up. It's in the mini catalog with just regular garden green leaves and one of the beaded pearls, so it's the three sizes. And again, I didn't curl it. This one, I used the red velvet, but 
um, the, the plush poinsettia paper. Let me show you that. Um, this sheet has leaves and it's only the, I believe the smaller of the two outline die. And it, it, yeah, I'm pretty sure fits that leaf. So I cut out several of those. You can see I cut down here so that I wouldn't waste too much paper. And this is, and again, it's, it's actually more on here than it is on the other paper, but it's not all again, um, that cut out with that one die. And then I tried to cut around them before I cut out cause I can still use some of these little things. And then also one, set of these stems like this this one is that the right one yeah um also cuts out i don't have it there we go like that so uh, but there's the one going the other way does not cut out you ha you'd have to fussy cut it so anyway i use the white plush vellum leaves and three of those stems on that one. Then these are in Very Vanilla. I used the little centers in Bumblebee, Old Olive Leaves again, and I used the brown berries um, using this die. That's a standalone. There's no stamp to go with that one. Um, and I just used one on that one and two on this one. They're pretty. And I did use um, crumb cake to edge those and put a little dark shading in. Now this one, before I realized it, there is a stamp, this here, which actually I stamped off with crumb cake and then stamped on. And that right over those lines adds a little bit of color as well. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway. So that's what I did there. And then the last three are the white velvet plush that I die cut out of that other paper. This one I used um, four, four leaves in garden green and two of the vellum berries. And I did use one of the little red centers to put on there in velvet. This one, well actually this one I did the same except I only used two green leaves. But on that little red one, I had put um, another bumblebee and then the red velvet uh, branches. And this one, I, I used a, I only had um, real red, not velvet, of the berries left. So I used three leaves, the real red paper of the berries, the real red paper of a little um, center and one white berry on that one. So those are my various poinsettias. Let's see how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and then two little ones. 11 bigger ones and two little ones. But quite a variety that I can use on different cards or fronts of journals or whatever. I don't do that many journals because I just don't seem to have time but I thought they turned out pretty. And like I said, I'll probably be curling them somehow, like maybe up and over, I don't know, before I put them on, whatever it is I put them on. So those are my embellishments for this month. I had planned on doing another set of something else, but you know, as usual, I ran out of time. So that's it for today. Please be sure to go check everyone else out in the collab. That'll be linked down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It helps me in the algorithms of YouTube. Also, um, if you would not mind hitting the like button, if you liked my embellishments, I'd appreciate it. And uh, come back today at 4 o'clock for a live. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I haven't started making this stuff yet, but I'll have some cards ready for you for 4 o'clock today. It will be something out of the mini catalog August to December Stampin' Up 2020 mini catalog. So yeah, come back and see what it is. It will not be using the poinsettias, I promise. Because this month I'm trying to concentrate in that uh, live on fall and, and or Halloween or a combination of both. So come back and see. Talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace.